well, of at least a month, is here. We've got Team Chaser coverage. Brian is out in the snow. Michael, I'm going to start with you. He's not in the snow. The snow hasn't happened yet. It has. It started already. Bernie <laughs> confirmed that. Sure. Okay. It was like 60 degrees last week, and somehow a potentially a foot and a half of snow in some parts of New Jersey. I got nothing else to say besides, <laughs> hi, Bernie. Bernie Reno, AccuWeather meteorologist. Please make sense of this and bread and milk, I guess. What's happening? Well, it depends where you are. Uh, up in northwestern New Jersey, you start getting in the Warren, Sussex counties, Passaic County, Bergen County. Uh, it's probably a five-loaf storm because I think up in that part of New Jersey, you're looking at at least two feet of snow. Some spots may get a little more up wow. there. Now, the farther south you go in New Jersey, you have to start worrying that warmer air comes in from the ocean and that you can mix that precipitation with sleet and certainly coastal New Jersey. It may be in the form of rain for a time. So accumulations in New Jersey really tailor off the farther south and east you go. You start getting toward Wildwood. You start getting toward, let's say, Cape May. You're probably talking about an inch or two before a change over to sleet and rain. Central parts of New Jersey, it's three to six, and then you start going into six to 12. However, where it doesn't mix, where you have all snow, you're gonna get two feet of snow. And I think that's more likely west of 287, and especially in the hills of Northwest New Jersey. New York City is a real tough call. Right now, I'm thinking about six to 12 inches of snow in the city. If it doesn't mix, you're going to get over a foot of snow very easily. You could start getting 17, 18 inches of snow. Bernie, what about the timing? So I'm on the road somewhere between 4 and 5 in the morning. Central Jersey, what's it looking like? It's snowing. It's snowing, and it's going to be snowing hard. Keep in mind, behind this storm, we're going to get another shot of cold air. It's going to feel, Wednesday is going to feel more like early February or late January than it is going to be in, in, in middle March. Think of this as winter's revenge, and the revenge <laughs> is going to be uh, quite a bit. All right, thanks, Bernie. All right, let's check in with Brian Donahue. Brian, I hope you got your bread and milk. Bill, you got your meteorology. I'm going to hit you with a little philosophy here. You know, like a lot of things in life, a big snowstorm presents us all with a choice, Bill. You're going to freak out, you're going to panic, or are you going to embrace it and revel in the wonder of the great snowstorm? It's all about your attitude. And I spent the morning at two places where the full range of attitudes was on display, a supermarket and a liquor store. Here at the super food town in Red Bank, the place was a madhouse by 9 a.m. It's been busy since we opened at 7 a.m. today, and we have lines already. Of course, it's all about the bread and milk. People grab staples, they say, at times like this. I saw carts going by me with three, four, five gallons of milk. I'll never understand this. Uh, I ran into George Vargas, a bread delivery guy for Bimbo Bakeries. He looked so frantic that I had to just give him a hand. I'm gonna be doing a long, longer day, a few more hours. Tomorrow, I'm not even gonna come out. Um, the truck's still wheel drive, so I'm not going to be able to get anywhere. But the least panicked person I met here was Diane Davis of Shrewsbury. She was filling her trunk with Duraflame logs. <laughs> you're, you're ready. I am ready because all I need is a fire, a good book. And after my work here was done, I went off to Spirits Unlimited Liquors in Middletown, home of the famous evil clown of Middletown. People are stocking up before the storm comes, they'll panic again as always. Uh, but usually for a Monday morning, we don't get many people in here. But right now, it's almost like what a Friday afternoon would be. I think you're the most relaxed, chill person that uh, I've met today about this storm. <laughs> Didn't know about it, gonna stay home, know, buying a bottle of something. Well, that's why I'm out early though, just yeah. in case. So this is the part that I don't get, people get milk but do they get alcohol some wine some beer oh, yeah. i mean that's what you want to really enjoy well there was plenty of people at the liquor store stocking up you know i got two bottles of red wine for myself so i'm all set this is called storm prep i love this i wish we had one of these every month think about Me how too. huge this is for small business i love it the capitalist of the week this storm it's a big business. thank you